Hello and welcome to our tutorial of Cognitive Radio System Basics. In this tutorial, we'll learn about Cognitive Radio Transceiver System and Cognitive Radio Network Architecture. Cognitive Radio Transceiver System and Cognitive Radio Network Architecture will be our agenda of this tutorial. A Cognitive Radio is essentially a software radio or an intelligent radio system that can be controlled. Now what specifically this means? You need to think cognitive radio literally as a wave DM system with multiple subcarriers. Let us assume that we have a wave DM system with 128 subcarriers which needs to be used between the entities. Now we have transceiver devices which can transmit and receive. They need to be tuned to a specific spectrum. Say for instance a particular transceiver is using the third subcarrier of an WebDM system. Uh, say another transceiver is using seventh uh, subcarrier of the WebDM system. Now once a sub once a transceiver is using the seventh subcarrier of an WebDM system, the entity that it is sending the message to should also be tuned to the seventh subcarrier of the WebDM system. In case there is an immense amount of interference, or let's say Many of the transceivers are not tuned to the seven subcarrier which is causing it to be jammed. Then a cognitive radio transceiver has the ability to check which are the subcarriers that are free and then automatically tune to that free subcarrier. So a cognitive radio, in simple words, has this particular block diagram where it has got a transmission and reception unit that forms the radio environment, the spectrum sensing whereby a sensing layer of the cognitive radio nodes tries to find out which spectrums are free and which are occupied, followed by a spectrum allocation or reallocation. This spectrum allocation or reallocation as we discussed earlier like the case of WebDM subcarrier changing needs a reconfiguration of the CR parameters which may include a change in the modulation, a change in the protocol or a change in other parameters and once the transceiver is reconfigured for the new spectrum it can then again start transmitting and receiving over the new radio environment defined by new sets of CR parameters. Having understood the details of how cognitive radio transceiver works and how spectrum sensing, allocation and reallocation is performed. Let's have a look at the overall block diagram of a cognitive radio system. Now a cognitive radio system essentially comprises of four components. The primary users, a base station for primary user, cognitive radio base station and cognitive radio users. They are sometimes also known as the secondary users. Now, primary users are essentially the one who are authorized to use the license bands of the cognitive radio system and they are allocated the spectrum by the cognitive radio base station. On the other hand, a secondary user can always request for a spectrum. A secondary uh, cognitive radio base station or which is known as CR base station then senses the interference the spectrum usage and based on that decides if any part of the spectrum is unused or not. If a part of the spectrum is unused then it is going to be able to allocate that specific spectrum to a secondary user. This is how cognitive radio works. 